Peace and prosperity begins to all who's listening and watching. It's your girl, Lachey Miller, right? And I'm back with another video. And I just want to talk to you guys about creativity because it come and go like motivation, okay? It's not with you all the time. It's just like up and down. Don't rush creativity, okay? If you're an artist like myself, I'm an entrepreneur as well, but I'm an artist. I paint, I draw. You know, I have amazing ideas, and I invest time on my ideas. I invest a little time on every single thing that I do, from my podcast to my books to everything. I'm even talk. I'm thinking about doing webinars and all kind of stuff. Like, I have ideas that I invest so much time into, and I'm, same with my video ideas. Like, I'm just like, sometimes I get a really good idea early on in the day, and I don't have to really think really hard on what kind of video I'm going to make. Sometimes I look over the videos I have already written down that I would, you know, decide from those to make. And I'm just like, that's not relevant. That's not something I want to talk about. You know, you have ideas, but in, if you're not like up for that or it doesn't really hit the creative you at that time, just talking about certain things, it's just like irrelevant, you know? So I want to say... Don't rush creativity because like motivation and everything in life, you got to make yourself get up and do things. You know, you're not always going to be creative, but you still have to get up and do things you desire. Make an effort, man. Seriously, because it's not easy having creativity all the time. It's not easy being creative 24-7 all day throughout the, you know, all day throughout the year. Okay. I personally... Don't give myself enough break. Not necessarily that I need a break. I just say I work a lot. Like I actually work a job. And then I come home and work the house. Like make sure that everything's done here. Make sure the yard's cut. Make sure everything's good. You know. And then like focusing hard on making content every day. Um, working on my books. You know make sure the intro is you know, like a, a attention grabber, you know, making sure that the things I create is a thousand times better than what I created last year, the last, the last video, making sure that this video is better than the last one, making sure like everything I do is a thousand times better than what I did yesterday and that how I can improve, always working on ways I can improve as a person. So I'm always focused on bettering me because that's the most important thing about growth. When you're trying to grow your business and grow your brand and grow yourself and grow your YouTube channel and grow your social media platforms, it's all about growth. And, you know, you can't really rush creativity. You know, sometimes I can post my videos like early in the day, like five o'clock, maybe. Uh, sometimes I can post it earlier. And sometimes I can't post my videos till close to like, the next day because creativity is just you want the the content to be valuable you want it to touch people you want it to be informational you want it to be educational but you also want it to get people to understand why it's important why it's important to you and why the purpose of you talking about that specific content now every day it won't be hard to come up with content i assure you but it's some days like you're like what am i gonna make like what content what what's today what kind of content i'm making today and you could think about it for so long and you still never come up with an idea i'm just like i want to give something valuable to people and and then you're just like constantly pondering over the idea of like what valuable content you can give and it's just like what the heck you know so i totally understand like anybody who struggles with coming up with ideas I like to talk about important things, you know. I also like to do things that are trending. Not always. I'm not a big fan of trending things. But I like to do some things that are trending, depending on what it is. And if it, like, lines up with who I am, or authentically, or my personality. I'm not just, like, some random person. I do random things sometimes. <laughs> but naturally, I always like to stay in alignment of self and do things that you know, make me feel good about what I'm doing, like valuable, that I am giving value to people and that is important. You know, I like to be creative. 
but I like to be creative in my own unique way that you know people can see who I really am and no matter what I'm doing it's always me you know always me yeah but um like creativity is pretty awesome you know I could do a whole lot of different videos I could do paint sessions because I'm an artist I can show you guys old canvases uh I can show you guys different stuff I can show you a drawing session of you know different things cartoons whatever I can do anything but you know like I say like I said yesterday's video you can have all the skill all the talent the greatest solutions the greatest products but people don't know you who's buying who's watching who's paying you attention who knows like if you're not known in the world that we live in if you're not known you know what I'm saying? If you're not known on your platforms, if you're not knowing, you're not connecting, you're not networking, you're not marketing, you're not getting yourself out there, right? If you're not known, it don't matter how many books you write, don't no one know you. And no matter how much passion, fire, effort, energy, love you put into those books. I got three books, you know, no matter, I they did really, they do really good sometimes. And then they got up and down everything in life is up and down you know you're not gonna always be at the top of the mountain you're gonna have to come down sometime we're not always destined to good, do good always you're gonna have to have rock bottom moments no matter what who no matter who you are you're still a person that's why i don't believe in idolizing people because at the end of the day we're still people all making mistakes all make mistakes why would i idolize somebody who's just an, just as imperfect as me what like, it makes no sense. Like, people are, are you, celebrities, like, they just lose their cap over celebrities. And I'm just like, they're people. They're human. They had a harder drive than you. They they went through the things that they said that they wanted to do unlike you. You know what I'm saying? They different, you know? But they're still human. You know, they made an effort to get the things they want. And some of them had early on opportunities because their parents was in those industries. Some people grew up in the industry. Some people, you know, got an industry by chance. Some people got noticed early on based on what they done. Some people's one video made them viral as I don't know what. And they got noticed and they got to be on ESPN, the news, this and that. Like, people blow up from the smallest of things. Some things the most irrelevant of things, the most unimportant of things. But People shine at different times and at the end of the day, we're all imperfect. I don't see the purpose of looking up to somebody who just, who's just in, imperfect as me and makes just as probably like many mistakes as I do. So, I mean, they're human. They done astounding things. They're amazing. They're great. I'm, I'm happy for them. <laughs> and like, you know, I agree. If you want us to see, you got to follow people and follow what people done in order to gain the success they obtain but you also have to define your own success along the way because by your own uniqueness and figure it out for you so i just don't want people to lose themselves in being a creator being an artist being an individual in the society falling in their purpose because at the end of the day you're living for you your family your children whoever you live for whatever you do this for remember the reason why you started, where you come from, and how far you've came. These are really important. People forget those things along the way, but I don't. Personally, it takes a lot for me to make videos because I like to really give value. I don't like to just talk about stuff that doesn't make sense, things that are not important. I do not mind doing challenges on this channel, but I'm still going to give you value. You know, if I'm going to be eating... Like that mud bug video I did on here. I'm going to add you. I'm going to give value. I'm not going to waste your time. It's cool. It's it's like weirdly satisfying watching things and people eat. And, you know, watching people clean their car. And people pop bubbles. And it's, some things are really satisfying to the brain. And it entertains the brain. And it stimulates the brain. I don't really think it in, entertains the brain. I think it just satisfies the brain. Like instrumental music and like frequencies and vibrations and good energy. It just satisfies and stimulates the mind. 
And you know, that's, that's a great thing. You want to be satisfied and happy in the things that you watch, but also read. And you want to get good vibes from people that you look into because that's the energy you take it on. You got to engage in things that you want because if you don't, you're going to try BS in your life. And if you want bullshit forever, you continue engaging in BS as long as you want. But it won't be me. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you know, don't rush creativity and yeah, give value in the things that you post. Make sure that you're marketing and investing in yourself and that you're spending time loving you. Okay. Cause the more you love you, the more you can open up the world within you, give it to somebody else and spread the love. You know, it's all about giving. So live in that frequency of giving, live in abundance of knowledge, uh, live, learn, love be happy but uh happiness peace joy uh sureness all these things are a state of being and it's like content content is also a form of information or whether it could be a book i have three book contents which they're all on amazon i have video contents um that i post on youtube but also on instagram on tiktok all on my social media platform that's a form of content but you also have the content of state of being so you got the state of being of happiness a state of peace a state of um calmness in mind you got a lot of different forms of content being content with self but also content of value that you provide to people and the importance of that what you what kind of what kind of purpose are you living for and what kind of value are trying are you trying to give out here because Creativity can't be rushed, but even when you can't think of ideas, make sure that you're giving something valuable. You know, you could do challenges, tell people about you, anything. I also I also made a video on ideas of what you can do for video ideas on YouTube, especially the most viral videos on YouTube right now. You can check that video out if you want. Look down in my videos. You can find those videos that I'm talking about. It's really important. I make a lot of good videos that I know that will help you guys. And if it helps you guys, it makes me happy. So you guys being helped makes me happy. And I love helping people because I'm a giver. And if I'm not living my life in the frequency of giving, I have no purpose of being here. And I'm not living in my purpose. And that's not going to make me happy. So I just love knowing that I'm helping people. I just love knowing that I'm giving. And I want you guys to have a tremendous day. And live knowing that you're doing what you love. Uh, yeah, it's good to have fun. Like, make sure people see your personality. You know, have fun. Show people who you are. And, you know, make, you ain't always have to be serious like me. <laughs> but I'm not always serious. I do make funny content sometimes. But uh, mostly I'm more about educating and teaching and giving the knowledge so it's rare love you guys